Now, you may have seen on our programme on Saturday night or read over the weekend some desperately sad news about our brilliant colleague and dearly loved friend, Emily Morgan. Emily was our health and science editor and she died on Friday after a short illness. During the weekend, there have been thousands of messages of sadness and support for Emily's family, including from the Chancellor and the Health Secretary, as well as ITV News viewers up and down the country. We're ending tonight's programme with the reflections of somebody who knew Emily well, our colleague Tom Bradby, who worked with Emily during her 23 years at ITV News. Good evening. And to you, she Emma, will be familiar to many, if not all of you. This has been a bit of a miracle for you, hasn't it? As our health editor, Emily Morgan, became a household name during the dark days of the pandemic. Unsurprisingly, every single bed in this ICU ward is taken up with a patient. If the sheer volume of time spent on COVID wards exposed her to a degree of risk, she was always clear as to why she was doing it. That was the reason we went in. We had a duty to do that as journalists, to report firsthand on the ground. Over more than a decade, her reporting on health and politics and much else besides was marked out by its clarity, its style, charisma, compassion and basic humanity. Are you going to be OK? Yes. Stiff up and... <laughs> it has there been a moment where you've woken up in the morning and thought, oh my gosh, what have I done? The last few days have been a disaster. She actually began her career as a producer, working behind the scenes. For five years at Westminster, we worked together every day as we crisscrossed the globe on planes and trains and automobiles after Blair and Brown and Cameron and many others besides. She was brilliant at her job, it's true, but she was also incredibly funny and completely irreverent. I once persuaded our editor to send us across Canada by train with cameraman Rob Turner to make a film on how the Canadians cut the deficit. Emily referred to this ever afterwards in front of the senior management as our holiday in Canada with Rob. Like many a friendship born at work, it was full of the talk of the joys of home. We watched her fall in love, get married, have two wonderful daughters. She must have had her faults, we all do, but we didn't see them. In the 33 years I've been here, I'm not sure I've witnessed too many people more popular in this newsroom. We are devastated because we really loved her and if you'd known her you would have too.